reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. But this one's green. <laughs> that one's green. This is green. Green, you had no other choice but to choose green. The influence works. Yeah, I'd say so. A magical twist on real psychological principles. <laughs> <laughs> no forces like it that's good that's cool control their thoughts one of these cards is green on the back the influence did work wow that's awesome david <laughs> hi i'm dan harlan as a professional magician and mentalist I'm fascinated by the way the mind works, and I love to involve true psychological principles and unusual experiments in my work. Your participant is presented with the names of colors, but they're printed in non-matching colors. Now, typically, they find it easy to read the words aloud, but much more challenging to ignore the words and say the color of the printing. It's fun to try. What does this say? It red. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And it says blue, uh, purple. We're going to try it one more time, and this time it's going to be a little bit harder. Because now you're going to do the opposite. So you're going to tell me what you see, not what it says. Uh, so what do you see? What color? Yellow. Yes. Red. Brown? Yep. You now take the basic experiment one step further, revealing you're subliminally programming your participant's brain. They're asked to simply name a number. There are eight cards here, and I want you to name, right now, any number from one to eight. Uh, four. Four? Right now. Six. Right now. Five. And you count to the color at that place. Then you blow their mind by revealing you knew which color they'd choose all along. Six. So we're gonna count to the sixth card and look at the color that we see. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, and six right here. We see green. Zach, that's amazing. That's the exact color I tried to influence you to arrive at. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you, you're a little skeptical. I don't blame you, but because uh, yeah. it really could be any one of these. But go ahead, turn that card over, and you'll see that I really influenced you to choose green. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, you're probably thinking there's colors on the backs of all these, and uh, that would be true. But Zach, I told you you had to choose green because really, every single one of these cards yeah. is green on the back. The influence did work. Wow, that's awesome, David. <laughs> but they're all green, as you can see, because there was only one choice you could have had, which was green. <laughs>is that the premise that it's built on automatically makes it better than just a card trick. It works every time, and the Clever Method uses two interlocking principles so well disguised that no one will know how you did it. I love it, and I know you will too. Stroop Test.